Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychological researcher, uh, Fortean skeptic, and technical agnostic. Um, I am doing this video because I um, actually received a message from someone uh, saying that he had seen a few of my telekinesis videos and was wondering if I was genuinely open-minded about the phenomena or a closed-minded uh, ignorant uh, or a closed-minded ignorant uh, skeptic was what he uh, his exact words. Well, I wouldn't consider all skeptics to be closed-minded and ignorant. Um, I do believe that there have been certain uh, skeptics who have resorted to critical thinking fallacies in some of their arguments. Uh, there's a large chunk of my video uh, database which is on me debunking those arguments. Uh, you know, trying to help uh, fellow skeptics and atheists uh, help hone their skills uh, to prevent the those who might be supporting pseudoscience from having any more ammo to try to debunk us than, or to try to counter us than we need to give than they actually really need. Um, anyway. Uh, I have actually done some thinking about my telekinesis vids, and I realized um, that a while back um, I made a, an assessment of overall psychic phenomena in terms of telepathy, uh, precognition, clairvoyance, and the like. And I said that the t that given the evidence and the like, um, I said that retropsychokinesis, precognition, telepathy, and clairvoyance were more likely than not, and telekinesis was highly improbable or unlikely because there's no possible physical mechanism beyond uh, the heat transfer in relation to si the heat transfer from the hands in relation to psi wheels uh, that would actually um, that would actually allow for the brain to influence the body uh, at anything beyond a quantum level. Um, however. I believe that um, my actual saying in that, or my correction, I still stand by my original, um, you know, I still stand by my original idea that there's a greater possibility for telepathy and the like, and that further research is needed. But in relation to telekinesis, I still hold my same position at present, but I was holding it for the wrong reasons, and I'm going to correct that now. Um, when I said that there was no mechanism within current science that would allow for such uh, transfer of energy in terms of macro telekinesis, um, that was an example of what was called Hume's fallacy. Um, I came across something here by Brian Josephson. I know he's a pro uh, proponent for psychic phenomena, but I think he did have a good point here. Um, as for talk of human miracles, did not superconductivity equally appear inexplicable when uh, for discovered first and for decades thereafter? It is not the right way to approach claims about parapsychological. Uh, is it uh, is not the right way to approach claims of par about parapsychological phenomena? Not to quote Hume as proposed by Crane, but that in normal science, namely setting up experiments uh, to investigate those claims. But current analyses of experiment of the experimental evidence, which results uh, which examine the replication question rather carefully and thereby expose uh, some of the errors um, to which naive uh, interpretation may be prone. Uh, I'm. When I'm going to say I'm going to interpret, I'm going to deliberately um, take a different definition than when uh, than what Brian Josephson is taking. Brian Josephson is a psi proponent. He talks about naive as skeptical uh, interpretation. I'm going to reinterpret that as pseudo skeptical interpretation. Uh, the resorting to other critical thinking fallacies and the like uh, in some of the arguments I've seen in terms of debunking psi phenomena. Um, Ray Hyman himself, uh, mega skeptic, uh, one of the ones who uh, was actually fairly competent, and I still listen to. Um, in addition to Michael, Michael Shermer's another, uh, both of whom have actually said that this issue um, have actually said that the uh, that uh, that there have been a lot of arguments which have been straw people, and that uh, large amounts of the skeptical arguments, at least from the major skeptical organizations, um, against parapsychology have not risen to the level of sophistication yet. But anyway, that's another kettle of fish, and I dig dis um, uh, I digress. Um, the point uh, which he made about uh, about superconductivity seeming inexplicable. Um, this is very closely related to Thomas Kuhn's mention of paradigm battles. And I will admit that, um, that just because of the fact that it hasn't been accepted or because of the fact that, uh, that it contradicts the known laws of physics, um, there was another source which uh, talked about the major laws of physics in terms of thermodynamics and stuff like that. And with the exception of the, uh, the um, signal decreasing over the square of the distance law, and um, I think there was one other. Most of the physical laws have no relation to such stuff like precognition or the like. Uh, it does violate our notions of common sense, but it does not necessarily violate physical laws, especially considering with a symmetry of, ten of quantum, uh, not just of quantum, but of thermodynamics uh, formulas and the like. But anyway, I digress. Um, my point being is that I'm not going to make a case for basis of uh, of psychic phenomena and quantum mechanics, but there is precedent in physics for a lot of this stuff. And um, to say, 
And because of that fact, um, X-rays at 1.2, Lord Kelvin deemed them a hoax, and I quote, he actually said that, um, because of the fact that they were uh, considered um, irrational by the time period, and they weren't, uh, they contravened the known laws of physics. Uh, continental drift was also considered that, because of the fact that uh, plate tectonics were not uh, developed. And Lord Kelvin himself, um, and quite a few other scientists, again, not for religious reasons, but the Amongst the actual scientific community, uh, shortly after Darwin uh, published his book, The Origin of the Species, there were some scientists who actually, um, on scientific grounds, did uh, try to refute the law of evolu the theory of evolution on the grounds that the sun at the time was too young to provide enough energy into the system to be able to support for uh, to be able to support the um, to be able to support the uh, the complexity of life. The problem, of course, with this was that fusion was not discovered until much later. So again, um, these things, even gravity at a certain, to a certain extent uh, of the times did appear to contradict the known laws of physics based on its action at a distance. And there was no theory of explanation for it. Uh, again, many of these arguments. And um, uh, it was later, uh, rel uh, it took Einstein to explain how it actually works. And the fact that the bending of space time kind of draws these things in combined with Newton's laws of consecular acceleration inwards. But anyway, I digress. Um, you get the idea. Uh, it's sort of, it's like, it, it, Anyway, you get the idea. Um, my point being is that I will admit that I made a fallacy in one of my arguments. I should have said, um, uh, now I should stress again that I am a skeptic. Um, I still think that there needs to be a lot more research done on psi phenomena. I agree that some of it looks um, a little bit more possible. Uh, you know, again, as I said on my previous video, um, it's between the levels of suggestive and compelling. Uh, in terms of the three levels that um, that uh, Marcelo Truzzi suggested, uh, suggested, compelling, and irrefutable, um, and I suggest that uh, I say that most of that evidence is is, is closer, with the exception of the macro of, of telekinesis and the uh, macro telekinesis, psychokinesis, and the uh, evidence for ghosts and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'd say that so the the precognition, the clairvoyance, remote viewing, not so much telepathy, and micro psychokinesis, both its uh, micro forward and retro forms. Are, uh, are closer to the compelling angle and, mac and macro telekinesis and the like are closer more to the suggestive level. But my point being, I want to say this, is that I am a skeptic. I said uh, that the um, that telekinesis was highly improbable because of the fact that there was no known mechanism in physics which could allow for it. That was a fallacy on my part. I apologize for having uh, used that uh, incorrect format. What I should have said and what I am saying now is that based on the current evidence that I've seen from acrotelekinesis uh, and be, taking it from a magician's perspective, the bulk of it does not seem well controlled enough to be highly suggestive yet, uh, to be high, uh, to be compelling yet. Uh, there were a couple of cases which did show promise, and I have in my previous videos, uh, my points still stand about the controls I suggested. Um, I'm still highly open-minded. I would like to see evidence. Um, if you have it, please do send. Um, I will, I will, like I said, any videos you happen to have, I will take a look at. Because uh, rest assured, I'm always looking for new evidence on this, uh, you know, on this on this phenomena and others. Um, if you do have evidence on any of these paranormal phenomena for proponent issues, or even other skeptical data which I am unaware of, do present it to me. Because uh, I, again, if you can, uh, more specifically, if you can provide me links in uh, message format, I know that um, YouTube doesn't allow it for it in the comment sections uh, below. So uh, just uh, just uh, click my username up at the uh, top of the page over here. Um, it's just right. Sorry, it's just. Um, yeah, if you look up a little ways, you'll see it on the top. Um, uh, sorry, no. Um, sorry, it's actually over to the right here. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at it vis-a-vis -vis my own username. Um, just You'll find on the right here, uh, it's just next to the subscribe button. Click that and click send me a message on the left-hand column. Um, do send me links and other info because I am always looking for new data on both sides of this issue. Um, but yes, I should uh, overall, my, uh, to conclude, I committed a critical thinking fallacy when I said that it contradicted the known laws of physics and therefore we shouldn't, ex or that it was highly improbable based on that. Um, what I should have said was that it was highly improbable based on the amount of evidence available and based on the quality of the evidence available. I was, um, I was a little bit, again, like I said, I was fallacious in that. I apologize. And um, now that I've uh, corrected that, um, I hope that everything's back to normal now. Again, please do send me evidence on both sides of this issue. Um, if you happen to have any more data, um, those people who I've uh, said to, uh, I've asked to put further controls in your videos, uh, please post those as soon as possible. Uh, again, as soon as you can, and uh, do send me the links because I want to take a look to see that uh, if you can demonstrate uh, your capabilities even with better controlled uh, 
uh, with better controls. And hopefully, if you have good evidence, I may just believe. Toodles!